Hold up. So we just got finished saying the last goodbyes and left. And we're still on the drive, or not the driveway, but the dirt road. You didn't even say where we were going. No, that's going to be a surprise. Uh, so we'll see you when we can get there. Maybe in between. All right. We just got out of McDonald's and he wants me to tell you guys where we're going. We're going back to Texas, so it's going to be a fun couple of days. Settled in and San Angelo, baby. Why is everything baby? <laughs> um, anyways, big bucks, definitely that. Anyways, we're gonna get settled into the room, then we're gonna go to bed at a reasonable ish hour. Then wake up bright and early and go hunting. I'm gonna go get a couple things at the store and then come back to the hotel, chill for a while. Alright, so it's four in the morning and we are going to pick up Randy and then we're gonna go to the Deerleys. Big bucks, baby. <laughs> Big bucks. All right, see you there. He's a big deer, okay? He doesn't think he's a monster, but he wasn't looking through him. Oh, he wasn't he's... looking at him through a scope. He's a good uh, buck, no we're, question. We're gonna go lay our hands on him. We gave him enough time to let the nerve twitches quit. And uh, now we're gonna go find him, or not really find him, he dropped. But we're gonna go get him and Uh, field dressing. I don't know how many points he was. He's wide. And that's really all I can tell you about him. And guys, I'm sorry if I'm shaky. But I just shot the big deer. So let's go find him. Or get him. I 
I think he, uh, I think I should have given him another second because he, I think, was in a uh, bed of cactus. So, this ought to be fun. Oh no, he wasn't. farther shot than I thought it was. I think it's about 100 yards. Ooh boy. What do I see him? I see that camera. I see him. Alright, so this buck come in. We had a buck and a couple of does at the feed pen already. And then this dude yeah, started coming in. Kick him in the face. Hold up. I don't think he's dead. All right, so I guess the shot wasn't as good as I thought it was. <laughs> but uh, uh, he's definitely dead now. I think I might, I think I might have to uh, reside in my gun because I freaking dropped that thing as soon as you shouldered that. But thanks for the help killing it. Um, he's an eight. It happens. Yeah, it does. But I shot him in the neck, didn't I? I'm not real sure at this point. <laughs> Give him a minute. Um, yeah. All right, so as I was saying, <laughs> Can I, pee I hope you got that on camera with that deer freaking standing up like that. I think I did, but you freaking threw the camera down, so I don't know. Okay, so a little lesson there for everybody who hunts. Creep up on your deer slowly because I saw this dude moving a little bit when we started easing up here. Uh, and I was about 10 or 15 feet away from him. And, uh, and then he opened his eyes and decided he wanted to stand up and, and go somewhere. So we had to... Uh, get far though. We had to give him another little pop. But... Or two. He's a, uh, he's a beaut. We're headed out to Fort McCabot. We didn't get up early this morning. We had such a long day yesterday. Hunting yesterday morning and, and yesterday evening. We had a good hunt yesterday evening. We saw a lot of deer. They all came in. We sat there for a couple hours, and uh, uh, about 15 minutes before dark, it's like somebody opened the floodgates. We had three or four does come in, and then a couple of bucks come in, and uh, by the time it got dark, I think we had about 10 or 12 deer out in front of our blind, and you know, three or four of those were bucks, but nothing that we wanted to we wanted to harvest. So I think we're going to sit in the same spot tonight. Uh, it's cooler. It was about 78 degrees yesterday. Today it's 64, and it's supposed to get down in the high 30s tonight. So hopefully that'll get the deer on their feet earlier in the evening and get them moving. So um, we had a great day yesterday. Clay harvested that buck yesterday morning, and I know you saw the excitement there with that dude getting back on his feet when we went to put our hands on him. But uh, it all worked out. Yesterday evening, got some rest this morning. Going back out tonight. We're gonna have Thanksgiving dinner with uh, my buddy's family tomorrow, and one more hunt tomorrow evening before we go back home. Uh, also got some hunt, uh, some hunting planned when we get back to Oklahoma. Uh, we've got some uh, some pretty decent bucks coming into our our place there by our house, so um, it's not gonna.
going to stop when we leave here. We're going to go home and, and pick up right where we left off. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we have a successful night tonight. Wakey, wakey. See how beautiful he is in the morning? Not so chipper. So, we just went in Walmart and got some tinks. Some 69. Tinks number 69. Yeah. Number 69. <laughs> and some cotton balls. Let me see. We got cotton balls. Some people use tampons. Some yeah. people use the wicks. Kids watch this. Thing. I prefer cotton balls because you can just stick them on a branch on a tree, soak them, and then leave them. You don't have to worry about collecting them. So there you go. There's the tip. Yeah. So we are going to go eat Thanksgiving lunch and then we're going to go to the lease, drive around for a minute and then hunt and we'll see you when we get to the lease. Well, we're headed back to Oklahoma as usual. We uh, we had a really good trip in, in Texas. Got to hang out with some old friends and do some good hunting. Clay got him a nice buck this trip. I did not, but that's okay. Um, we saw, I don't even know how many deer. Randy and his blind saw a, a giant buck last night, just too far away to get a good ethical shot. So didn't take it so that that guy's still running around out there but uh, had a good hunt every day saw lots of deer uh, medium-sized bucks and lots of does and uh, saw a couple of big bucks driving around so and lots of little ones lots of little ones so that's a good thing but Winnie I know you're watching this there's one that's a good Buck, okay, and he's got your name written on his forehead. Uh huh. Yeah, we've seen this buck several times, and when he's coming back, the last week of De December, and uh, we're hoping that she can lay some crosshairs on that dude and get it done. So we'll see. But we had a good trip. We're headed back to Oklahoma. We're gonna do some hunting there this weekend. Uh, we got some pretty good deer coming in to, uh, to our place there. So. Uh, had a cold front move in. It's actually cooler here in Texas. It's 52 degrees right now. It's cooler than it's been any morning that we've been here. But uh, I'm sure it's even cooler in, in Oklahoma. So we'll see how it goes. And um, if we have any success, we'll get it on video. All right, guys. It is eight hours later. We made it home, got unpacked, had a really safe drive. Um, we, we didn't hunt tonight here, and like I said in the last Texas trip video, it's that not so fun part of the video right here.
the ending. So, I appreciate you guys watching. And like, subscribe, turn on my post notifications so you never new miss a new video. And I will see you next time on the next episode of Dameron Outdoor Adventures.